According to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, in the three weeks of the war against Ukraine, Russia lost 15,400 soldiers. The number of wounded is about three times higher. At the same time, the armed forces of the Federation, according to RAF estimates, have already lost more than three and a half thousand units of equipment. Each unit is money. Exact figures are virtually impossible to establish. However, we can roughly estimate the cost of equipment lost by Russia in Ukraine. According to the Ukrainian military, the Federation has already lost more than 500 tanks. The Russian army has several types of heavy armored vehicles, but most of them, according to open sources, are the tanks T-72B3, a modernized tank that was developed in the Soviet Union. Its price was originally about 600,000 US dollars. After modernization, at the rate of 2013, its cost increased to over 2 million dollars. So overall, tank losses for Russian Federation are about 1 billion 90 million dollars. During Russia invasion of Ukraine, the occupiers have repeatedly used new generation K-52 helicopters in combat. They are also called alligators and cost approximately 16 million dollars apiece. A total of 123 Kremlin helicopters are already on the account of the armed forces. Of course, not all of them are K-52. So roughly, the helicopter losses for Russia are about 1 billion 900 million dollars. After the open aggression of the Kremlin, Ukraine has repeatedly appealed to NATO countries to close the sky, provide planes or effective air defense weapons. This wouldn't allow Russian aircraft to bomb peaceful Ukrainian cities. And while the alliance is in a sleep mode, Ukrainians are shooting down enemy aircraft on their own. 99 successful shots. Among them, in particular, Su-30 and Su-34. The average cost of each one is about 33 million dollars. So it turns out that Russia lost about 3 billion dollars. In addition to aviation, the Kremlin also uses missiles against Ukrainians. According to the US Pentagon, Russia has already fired more than 1,000 missiles. Among them were the caliber cruise missiles that the Kremlin is so proud of. It costs about 6.5 million dollars. And if we assume that every fourth missile fired by Russians in Ukraine was a caliber, their launches cost the Kremlin at least $1,700,000,000. If we add up the cost of tanks, combat armored vehicles, planes, helicopters lost by Russia in Ukraine, we get the approximate amount of about $8,400,000,000. And we didn't count the ships lost by the Russians unmanned aerial vehicles, cars, ammunition, fuel and other necessary stuff for hostilities. We also didn't count Russian anti-aircraft missile systems Panzer C-1, which cost about 14 million dollars, and some of them were also destroyed or captured as trophies by the Ukrainian army. So the Russians suffer, but no money can return those Ukrainians killed by bombs and rockets, and no money can wash away the disgrace from the European companies and politicians staying apart or supporting Putin.